Okay, this is John responding with MaxBoxing.com at Seconds Out. I'm standing here with Marlo Moore, right. who is uh, went to Reno last month yeah. and uh, shocked December. December and shocked everybody by winning yeah. the tournament, right? And you knocked out a favorite from Philadelphia. Was it Philadelphia yeah. that mm -hmm. they were filming and everything? Do you remember his name that you knocked? Uh, Darmani Wright. Okay, he knocked him out. Knocked him out, according to. Uh, stop him. Stop him. Okay, so you won that fight, and you you won everything. So it's a great start to your yeah, career. Definitely. Next month you're going to Argentina. Yeah, I'll be down in South America. Now, are you are you a quick learner, or how did where does this all this talent come from? For I've been such a. Fifteen years old. Fifteen years old. And you're originally from. Richmond, California. Okay, Richmond. Okay, not far from here then. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're how old now? I'm 25. Oh, 25. So you're starting a little late, mm -hmm. but you got time. Yeah. And you're a heavyweight. Uh, heavyweight. Yeah, heavyweight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what do you think your biggest strength in is? It your power, your speed, your athletic ability? What? What do you think? Uh, my mind, for one. You know, I have a lot of speed. Um, I got some power, obviously. Um, and my coaching. You know, my coachability. You know, my uh, wisdom, boxing wisdom. So well-rounded. Uh, my ability to learn and pick up and keep it going. How about Virgil Hunter? How did you manage to hook up with him? I uh, picked up with Virgil when I was 18 years old. Ah. So, yeah, he, was just, uh, he had a game plan and we uh, stuck to it. You know, there's times when I said, is this the right thing? But I stuck with him, stuck by him, and he stuck with me, and here we are on our way to Rio. Okay, yes, yeah, so you're on your way to Rio, and now people kind of know you, who you are a little bit, yeah, right, yeah, after yeah. Reno. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to be expecting, they're not going to be surprised, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, they're going to jump on them, not uh, going to pop up on them, but, you know, like I said, that's what pe preparation is for. I'm going to listen to my corner, my coach, you know, and I'm going to go ahead and finish this thing off. We've been looking at this for about 10 years. Now, 10 years, so. oh, wow, okay. So you got to win, you have to win that or make the team, right? I mean, exactly how does it work? That it, uh, uh, on the United States Olympic team, but I need to qualify my weight You need to qualify in your weight Argentina, class. Yeah. Okay, okay. And you weigh about... 220. 220, okay. So you're the, the, the classic heavyweight, yeah, that's 6'3", yeah. about 220. <laughs> the best of them. The best of them, well, yeah, really. Not the big 280-pound yeah. guys, huh? So what what brought you to boxing? You've been doing it since you were 15. How did you get into this sport? Uh, you know, um, my path kind of was just late here. I uh, love to get in a couple street fights and stuff like that. Uh -huh. and, uh, you know, somebody used to say one day, why don't you box and turn my life around. It did, so it's been kind of a lifesaver for you. It happens like a lot of guys like that. Yeah, so I was asking Cornelius over there, you, you see Andre Ward every day. I mean, yeah, he, he's, a great, yeah, he's a great example, right, of how hard you have to work to get to your... Your dreams, yeah. Yeah, and that was with him. He had a dream since he was a little, little boy yeah. like you. And mm -hmm. So you, I'm sure you appreciate what he's doing. It, yeah, it definitely makes a, to have that, you know, just all the high caliber fighters we have in here, it makes it attainable. We actually have three Olympians in the gym. Uh, Andre Ward, Andre Burrow, and Amir Khan. And just to, to see them and know them personally, you know, it uh, makes a dream attainable. It doesn't make it a pipe dream. You know, you're not looking at, looking at something that seems so far away. It looks like if you work harder than that, you go after it. It's right there for you. So you 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 think you're right on your way towards it, right? You're feeling damn good about it, and here we go. Okay, well we're going to be keeping an eye on you, uh, Marlo, so that you know. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep an eye on you too, so I can let everybody know how you're doing. And uh, hey, it's great to meet you, and good luck next month in Rio. And uh, we'll talk to you after. Thank you. All right.